through the prayers of our holy fathers O lord jesus christ our god have mercy upon us and save us amen glory to you our god glory to you O heavenly king the comforter spirit of truth everywhere present and filling all things treasury of blessings and giver of life come and dwell in us cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls O good one holy god holy mighty holy immortal have mercy on us holy god holy mighty holy immortal have mercy on us holy god holy mighty holy immortal have mercy on us glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and ever into the ages of ages amen all holy trinity have mercy on us lord cleanse us from our sins master pardon our transgressions holy one visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake lord of mercy lord of mercy lord of mercy glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and ever into the ages of ages amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Blessed are you, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your iniquities who heals all your diseases who redeems your life from destruction and crowns you with steadfast love and tender mercy the lord is compassionate and merciful slow to anger and of great goodness bless the lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name blessed are you O lord praise the lord O my soul i will praise the lord as long as i live i will sing praises to my god while i have being put not your trust in princes and sons of men in whom there is no salvation when their breath departs they return to their earth on that very day all their plans perish blessed is the one whose help is the god of jacob whose hope is in the lord his god who made heaven and earth the sea and all that is in them the lord sets the prisoners free the lord opens the eyes of the blind the lord lifts up those who are bowed low the lord loves the righteous the lord watches over the sojourners he upholds the widow and the orphan but the way of the wicked he brings to ruin the lord will reign forever your god o zion to all generations Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal. For our salvation, you deign to be incarnate of the holy birth giver of god and ever virgin mary and without change became man 
You were crucified, Christ God, trampling down death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father, the Holy Spirit, save us. In your kingdom, remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people shall revile you and persecute you and speak all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Grant victory to your faithful people over their enemies. And by your cross, preserve your community. As a disciple and companion of Paul, you received in your soul the grace of preaching. You shined in the night of error and contested for the Lord's glory. We all acclaim you, Aquila, sacred minister of the Savior. Christ God, as you were voluntarily raised on the cross, grant your bounties to the new nation, bearing your name. Make all your devout faithful glad through your power, granting them victory over their enemies. Through the invincible trophy, your weapon of peace. The church has you as a great son of Aquila, and with the rays of your teaching, those who faithfully venerate you, the Lord's glorious apostle. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With your sin, oh, 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 Christ, give rest to the souls of your departed servants, where they pain, sorrow, nor sigh. Everlasting. Now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. Protection of Christians who is not put to shame. A unchanging mediation before the Creator. Despise not the voice of sinners' prayers. But because you are good, quickly come to help us to call on you in faith. Speedily intercede and hastily supplicate, birth giver of God, who always protects those who honor you.
Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy. My soul magnifies the Lord. And my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has regarded the lowest state of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Reading from the Epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Romans. Brethren, do you not know what the scripture says of Elijah, how he pleads with God against Israel? Lord, they have killed your prophets, they have demolished your altars, and I alone am left, and they seek my life. But what is God's reply to him? I have kept for myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to Baal. So too at the present time there is a remnant chosen by grace. But if it is by grace, it is no longer on the basis of works. Otherwise, grace would no longer be grace. What then? Israel failed to obtain what it sought. The elect obtained it, but the rest were hardened. As it is written, God gave them a spirit of stupor, eyes that should not see and ears that should not hear, down to this very day. And David says, let their table become a snare and a trap, a pitfall and a retribution for them. Let their eyes be darkened so that they cannot see and bend their necks forever. So I ask, have they stumbled so as to fall? By no means. But through their trespass, salvation has come to the Gentiles so as to make Israel jealous. Now, if their trespass means riches for the world, and if their failure means riches for the Gentiles, how much more will their full inclusion mean? Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Daughter, hear, see, and incline your ear. Ah, 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 The rich of the people of the land shall supplicate her favor. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, uh. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. 
Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord began to upbraid the cities where most of his mighty works had been done, because they did not repent. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it shall be more tolerable on the day of judgment for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You shall be brought down to Hades. For if the mighty works done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you that it shall be more tolerable on the day of judgment for the land of Sodom than for you. At that time, Jesus declared, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to babes. Yes, Father, so it was well pleasing before you. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. The choirs of heaven chant to you and say, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Approach, be enlightened, and you will not be made to blush. The choirs of holy archangels and angels, with all the bodiless powers of heaven, chant to you. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead, in accordance with the scriptures, and descended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lord our God, who by a word alone healed all diseases, who cured the kinswoman of Peter of fever, you that chastise with pity and heal according to your goodness, who are able to put aside every sickness and infirmity, may you, the same Lord, grant aid to your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantalemon ministry who are ill and afflicted, all of our relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers, unworthy though our prayers may be, especially Father Ephraim, Father Daniel, Father John, Monk Melidius, or Barbara, Margaret, Marion, 
Michael, Walter, Pamela, Patricia, Patricia, Robert, Peter, Eric, Patricia, Melissa, Pantelitsa, and all those we cannot call to mind, and those who have no one to pray for them, and cure them of every sickness of which they are grieved, and send down upon them your great mercy. And if it be your will, give to them health and a complete recovery. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, our eternal King and God, you have destroyed death and the devil by your cross and have restored man to life by your resurrection. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants. All the residents of the St. Pantaleon ministry who have departed this life, all of our departed relatives, loved ones, and friends, especially Irene and Maria, and for all of those who are newly departed, especially Father George, Nicolaus, and Charlene, and all those we cannot call to mind who have fallen asleep in your kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. In your goodness and love for mankind, pardon all the sins they have committed in thought, word, or deed, for there is no one who lives and sins not. You only are without sin, for you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have departed this life. O Christ, our God, and to you we send up glory with your eternal Father and your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. God, absolve, remit, and pardon our voluntary and involuntary sins, in word and deed, known and unknown, by day and by night, in mind and thought. Forgive us all in your goodness and love, for the human race. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kitty a lesson, kitty a lesson, kitty a lesson. One nemil yashted, one nemil yashted, one nemil yashted. Hospodi pomiloi, hospodi pomiloi, hospodi pomiloi. All Holy Trinity, co essential might, kingdom undivided, source of all good. Be gracious to me, a sinner. Establish and give understanding to my heart. Remove every defilement from me. Enlighten my mind, that I may continually glorify, chant hymns, and worship you, saying, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul will be praised by the Lord. Let the meek hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. 
and he delivered me out of all my troubles. Come near him and be radiant, and your faces will not be ashamed. This poor man called in the Lord, heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord will camp around those who fear him, and will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, all you his saints, because those who fear him lack nothing. The rich become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not be in want of anything good. It is truly proper to bless you, birth giver of God, ever blessed and most pure in the mother of our God, more honorable than the children, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God, word, through birth giver of God we met. You. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.